It is often said that data is the new gold. The functioning of the digital economy is dependent on data. And data is organized, stored, managed, and processed in specialized facilities called data centers. So what is data center? And why is it important with respect to India's data localization plan? Let's find out. A data center is a specialized physical facility of network computers, storages, and other information technology equipment that businesses, organizations, and other entities in the online space use to organize, process, store, and disseminate large amounts of data. Such physical facilities are available all across the world and are not restricted by geographical borders. Simply put, this means anyone from anywhere in the world can use data center services by paying a stipulated amount without physically visiting the facility. For instance, any business operating in India can use a data center located in any other country. Now let's understand what data localization means and why India is pitching for it. Data localization simply means restricting the flow of data from one country to another. In India's context, localization will make it mandatory for companies collecting critical consumer data to store and process it in data centers present within India's borders. One of the Indian government's main arguments for data localization concerns the protection of personal and financial information of Indian citizens from foreign surveillance. Another is to enable domestic governments and regulators to seek such data should that be necessary. The idea of data localization first made headlines in India in early 2018 after the Reserve Bank of India mandated companies to locally store and process sensitive data belonging to Indian users of various digital payment services. Until then, most data from India was being stored on a cloud database outside the country. This RBI ruling came after a draft of the Personal Data Protection Bill prepared by a committee led by former Supreme Court Judge P. N. Shri Krishna. A modified bill was later tabled in Parliament on 11th of December 2019 and referred to a joint committee. The approval to the bill remains pending, therefore no fines are currently imposed on companies for non-compliance. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.